welcome to Wednesday, the day after we hit 100,000 subscribers. And we made a little video, but honestly, it would not have been anywhere near as big of a deal without so many people to celebrate it with us. Like, it was amazing. And when I watched all the videos that people had sent in, I was tearing up so much. Like, the things that people say about us, like, I'm just one person, we're just one family. Imagine what we could do if we all loved one another all the time. Like, such a huge concept for me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. It's been amazing with you guys along. In fact, so amazing that I would never want to buy another horse without you guys. Like, have you guys helped me? It's just been amazing. 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wait a minute, that was wrong. Yep, 58. It's about 15 degrees today. 58 degrees! 58 degrees! The uh, girls are getting in their winter coats. <laughs> today is the second day of school, and we are headed to the barn where the boys are. And the reason is because we have lessons this morning. We have lessons on the second day of school. Today is our very first lesson with Fiona at the new barn, and I'm excited. I'm excited because Fiona tends to nurture us and nurture our horses, and I really am anxious for her to see them and reassure me that they're settling in okay, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, we're headed there. It was fun waking up this morning and getting ready. Like, in the summer, there's no rhyme or reason. You just do whatever you do. But in the fall and the winter and in the spring, you have like a schedule. And I'm a scheduled kind of person, so this has been amazing for me. Holy heck, the kids are in the car. I forgot something in the barn, so Gabby went in to get it. We went to the tech store last night. I didn't put it in the vlog because there was so much already in the vlog, but we got a bunch of stuff. So I'll unbox it all when we get to the barn. This is a heavy bag, but yeah, we got a lot of that stuff because who knows how much we're gonna need. I got horse treats. Finn absolutely loves this kind. Yeah, she spoils her boy. Um, but we tried, we tried to get that blue spray. What's it called? Blue coat with a K. Blue coat with a K, and that's discontinued. They don't make that stuff anymore because it's apparently toxic. It uh, causes cancer in horses, so yeah, we can't even buy it. I swear we trained them like that. When we came here, we said, li we said listen, always stay by the gate so that we don't have to travel far. <laughs> I don't care where they go as long as they're happy. I'm not gonna lie, they have to come to me because I'm not going in the mud <laughs> to get them. Hey, Stormy boy. So when we came in, we saw Finn standing there eating, staring off into the trees over there. And I don't know if you guys can see, but all the sheep are over there. Sheep are definitely a new thing for our horses. Uh-oh, what the heck? I don't know. They're like, no, we're not gonna work today. Chino doesn't wanna work, I think. They're like, poop on you. What the man that owns this place does is he catches one, walks them to the, walks that one to the barn and the other scum. <laughs> They're leaving. Well, uh, it's just interesting. So the only one we can't ride. Oh no, Chino's coming. Storm's the one that took off. I can always get them mixed up. Well, that's great. Storm! So today's the day that we gotta use our bucket. It was Storm that led them off. Chino I'm, Chino's, Chino's, a Chino's a good boy. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. I got nothing right yet. Come on. Don't make them go crazy. Okay. Wait here. Gabby's gonna go up into the trees. Find Storm. Hey, bring the horse back too. <laughs> bring my horse back too. Uh, will you video while I go put him in the cross ties? Because he gets anxious and I don't like holding on to the camera and a big horse. Tell them what happened. They ran away. <laughs> they ran away. We only caught Chino and he's turned around in the cross ties. I might not be able to have a lesson. So let's if go we take treats. All right, Gabby, you get Chino dressed and get him all ready. Storm's new friend, they were playing in the field. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's Finn eating. Show them. Just wait, let's see if they can get it clear. Yep, there they are. Storm's apparently not as lame as I thought. 
No, he gallops away. I don't know. Mom, you're going to need rubber boots. I didn't bring my rubber boots because they always just stay. They were playing. Aw, is it a girl? He seems like he loves her. Remember back to the time when I was like, they have no friends. They're not settling in. I feel so bad for them. Yeah, well, I don't anymore. <laughs> I would rather them be okay. Listen, she know. I'd rather them just be standing there and come to us. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Tino's uh, herd bound, he's locked in here, and I'm the one that gets to tack him up. So yeah, that's fun, tack him up for lessons. Uh, well, the girls go on a horse hunt. I'll try and put Gabby's footage from her phone into this video so you guys can see what they're up against. But yeah, they're trekking through it all, trying to get their horses. And he's not happy. So, the beasts have been caught. They've yeah, been- the bucket of treats and they trotted to us. Oh, you shook the bucket of treats and they trotted to that. Comment below. No. Tell me now what a good idea that was. Okay, this is the problem. The only problem at this farm is that I can't reach the water. I know, I'm trying. So you gotta grab it. Oh. Oh. How? I don't know how other people do it. I just need to get skinnier. Okay, so. Hold on. Oh, see, I have to squish between this spot here. It's hard. So, there was a little path, so we decided to go up the hill because it was less muddy. And so, it was a bit rocky there, and Finn likes to be glued to storm. Yeah. So he pushed me out of the path, just so he could get closer to storm. Yeah. So, my arm hurts. Are you okay? Because I had to hold him back the whole time. Yeah. He's just pushing me around. I can see how it's gonna go this winter. Well, this is what I was the most worried about, I think, was trying to catch them. And then they all just stayed and came to us, and now they have friends, and now... I'm all sweaty, okay. my coat's Yeah, me. Sophie's brand new coat, all dirty. So, don't be really gentle on that one that's scabbing up. Mom. All right, so Gabby's choosing to spray off the mud. Gabby's like, okay, turn off the water. I'm like, my body is aching from squishing in there. I don't have his long arms. <laughs> I know. I don't know how dad does it. I'm just going to show you guys really quick what we bought yesterday. So we bought another bag of treats. These are our favorite treats. Um, usually we buy the big, huge bag, but they didn't have any, so we had to buy that bag. And then and we bought... Oh, this is the heavy thing. We bought Chino his own rock salt because he doesn't have one in his stall. And then we just bought those. We just bought those because we're going to need them and we love the fancy colors. So I'm going to throw them in there and then I'm going to put these in there. And I'm gonna hang this thing up. Actually, we also bought these Bio Bites too. Sophie loves these. Her, she says that Finn likes these the best, so she, so we bought those. We're late. Yeah, keep going. Well, I gotta clean up the poo. Fall. Yeah, he was so he upset. He was so upset. Okay, come on. Let's keep fall. going. I was just casually looking for some baler twine. Yeah, they got lots. I always hold underneath his foot and hold I'm it up. I'm not touching mud. You have to touch mud. Look at your hair. We already all look ra ragged from. All right, I'll help you with this, but but we look ragged from everything. We stuck Storm in his stall. We took out his. Uh, oh, we why did we stick him in pin stall? Just easier. Rain. Oh. So the horses ended up coming to the girls after they went up and found them and shook the pail. So so that was super good thinking that we thought to train him. Oh, Fan was here. Not ready. Hurry up, get bridled. I don't like to be late. I need my boots on and helmet oh. and everything. Oh gosh. Is that what Gabby's doing right now? Yeah. Be nice, Storm. The plan is to leave Stormy in here. Sophie's not sore at all. One thing that is a tr my knees from getting off. true story, if your adrenaline is going, then everything hurts more when your adrenaline is pumping. I already cried in my lesson. That's why I didn't cry. That's why I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Only one cry per lesson. Is that it? So something odd happened. Finn peed inside. He never pees inside. Been drinking lots, huh? 
I'll wait till Chino dude, because Storm will take it all. Yeah. Finn's all about the food. Chino's all about the water. Yeah. They had a really hard, big lesson. It was a good lesson. It was a really good lesson. He's like, please, please, please let me have a drink. And then I'll bite him. After a while. They are best friends. These guys are best friends, you guys. Chino's, Chino's like such a nice. Friends? I think not. Chino's such a nice horse. You're a good boy too, Finny. All right, let's go get Storm. We brought Storm in. We bring Storm in because they are herd bound, especially here. And we have to treat his injury. And we also want to, we don't want him running around like a lunatic in the field by himself with the mud. We don't want him to fall, but we mostly don't want him to pull a shoe, which is so selfish. <laughs> but yeah. All right, Stormy boy. We'll see you later. That's the best ball I've had in a while. I'm so proud of you, Sophie. Okay, I've had a good fall too. One bad one, one good one. Yeah, I'll throw it in there. Storm, don't get any more cuts. Okay, so Gabby is reaching in to our liquor cabinet where all the alcohol is. Only a little bit. Only, yeah, we only have a little bit because we don't drink very yeah. often. What are you They're getting, like Gabby? Five years ago. Yeah. What are you getting? They like expired. Shot glass. Gabby, what are you using a shot glass for? A drink. All right, let's show you guys what she's going to drink. All right, so. Gabby is taking a shot of apple cider vinegar, raw, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar every single day. And, oh, you should wash it. There's probably dust in it. We haven't used, ever probably ever used, oh, that's too much. That was a lot. That is way too much. Wait. That's Molly rudely drinking. I pour it all out to that line. See the line? That line is where it needs to be. Do you want to see the other ones that are bigger? No, Gabby, that's too much. All right, we're all. Yeah, let's watch Gabby puke. No. You guys ready to see Gabby puke for the first time of her life? Okay, tell them why where you, why apple cider vinegar is really good for you. I have no clue. It, it increases the acid in your belly and helps you digest your food better. It's supposed to be really good for you, and I've used it for a lot of years. So you should try, try it off and on. You want to try it? I'll no. try it with you. All right, Don't Gabby. I, I'll do it. I want to do it. I just keep forgetting. Let's grab a shot glass. Oh, I will not be taking that much. I take a little cap full. Typically you do it before a meal, but Gabby just does it in the middle of the day. Because Gabby rolls how she likes to roll. Can I take roll. a couple sips? Yep, yeah, take a couple yeah. sips. No pressure here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> I'll take a tiny bit. You want to try it? It, it? <laughs> Where's it hurting? Your nose? Your eyes? <coughs> My throat. Okay, give Sophie the rest. I'm not drinking that much. Oh. Okay, my turn. Okay, you guys didn't get to see Gabby. <laughs> it hurts your throat. That's too much. It goes down your throat, but it burns. <laughs> That's Sophie's. Let's say, let's show them. You have to have more than that. Can you even see it? The <laughs> Gabby's still struggling. I don't. No, 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 you don't have to have more than that. That's good. No, it, have oh. a little more. That's a lot. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's about how much I like too. I don't want to drink it. It's not bad. It actually kind of. First kinda, time it goes down, I want good. some milk. So you know. <laughs> No, just do it. The first time it goes down, Here, it's not bad. It. I'm not having it. It's the least hour the first time it goes down. Can't peer yeah, pressure so me. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you drank that much. So uh, back in the olden days, families used to have what they called, they used to call bitters, which is like a salad. But back in the olden days, salad wasn't this big, beautiful, yummy, sweet, thing that we have today it was like a bunch of lettuce and and green stuff that was super bitter and people would eat this and it would it would stir up your digestive juices and then you would uh, digest your meal so much better and then you wouldn't go to bed and have indigestion and stuff like that so i'm oh, sorry gabby so it has been used for centuries as kind of like it kind of works in a healthy way to help your body digest all your food. We were away all morning, so the girls are doing school now, and I'm taking care of the animals because that's how it happens when you have school. 
Back it up, sisters. Back it up. I have some peaches. Peaches for you guys. And some fresh food. Usually I fill this thing up, but... I typically like to keep it underneath here because it's, it stays dry. So here is a funny story, you guys. This is a funny story about our chickens. Great, my battery's about to die. But the story is that even though when our mama hen was sitting on her nest, I fed her and watered her at her nest. Typically, you're supposed to just leave them and they leave their nest whenever they need to eat, but they never leave their nest because they don't want to leave their babies. It's about putting themselves first or putting their babies first and good mamas will always put their babies first. So we fed her at her nest the whole entire time that she had the babies and she stayed in such good shape. She ate the whole entire time. This little farm has taught me so much about how we treat animals in society. How the old fashioned way is so different than what I feel like where we're moving with animals. Every single time I've offered our animals comfort over over just doing it the way we're supposed to do it, they always choose the comfort way. They like to be warm and clean and fresh. That chicken does not look good. What's happening over there? You guys see it? If it's not one thing, it's another. What the heck is wrong with your butt? I'm also learning a lot about chicken butts. But anyway, my point is that I really hope that in my lifetime I see a big huge change in the way that we treat animals. Animals like to be loved and cared for and treated in a kind way. They like to be dry and warm and not stuck in a big mud pit. Do you think that's from an overzealous rooster? Is that you doing that to her? Alright, don't worry. I fixed the chicken. It was just a dirty vent. I don't know why it was like that. Once I washed it, cleaned her up, she's good to go. Um, today turned out to be a really good day. Uh, it is, what's the temperature? 16 degrees. It was not that warm. In fact, Sophie's wearing her winter coat. I'm wearing a sweater. I wished I had my winter coat. We are headed to the tax store. I found a coat yesterday when we were there that I really like. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. My battery's about to die. So I'm going to end the vlog here. But I Wait, wanted... I can't believe I fell off. What? I can't believe I fell. I know. I can't believe Sophie fell off and fell off gracefully and was happy and didn't get hurt like anytime you fall off a horse it can be scary but when you have a good fall you know it I had a good fall before when Stella bucked and I fell over her head <laughs> anyway that is it for today's video we will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be another busy crazy day it was supposed to be my clean the barn day but that is gonna have to happen probably on Friday anyway we'll see you guys later thanks for watching don't you know that you're beautiful just